Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This coffee cup reading is for all Gemini and it's for the month of July onwards. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it helps you understand what's coming, what's hidden from you, what to expect, what to know, what to be excited about, what's coming and everything that you need to know. So your coffee cup is beautiful. Welcome, my dear viewers. Welcome those of you. Wow, look at this lion. That's the face of a lion there. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's so clear. Have a look at that. Oh, the dog also. Oh, my God. It's actually a dog, not a lion. It's a dog. Wow. Chinese year of the dog. We'll talk about the dog in a moment when I get there. Uh, my dear viewers, my dear Gemini. Wow. There's a beautiful arrow showing a major change of direction. This is incredible. I look forward to reading it for you. Let us begin. Before I do, I'd like to welcome all of you and let you know on something. Uh, during meditation prior to the coffee cup, I get connected to all the guiding angels and I'm given information which I write down on a piece of paper very quickly and then neatly write it down here and deliver it to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that. Glasses on and let us begin. Okay. Here we go. Right. I'm just going to put it over here. Yeah, that's better. Now, what am I seeing the first thing here? Hmm. It's all connected. It, it's like, it's, I see number two and I see someone on a scale, someone saying, I need more time. I need more balance. I need to know what I want out of my life. I need to, I need time maybe, or I need to uh, balance myself and my thoughts. This is connected to partnerships. This is connected to the Chinese year of the ox buffalo. It is connected to people that have Pisces or Aquarius in them. And I feel like within two Two weeks, two days, two weeks, two months, you'll get to understand what this person's ultimately, what do they need the balance? What do they need in their life? What is it that they, uh, they want to say? Like what is literally on their mind? I feel like you're searching for more love in your life, some of you. And sometimes you need to really get connected to the, to your heart because it's there where the greatest love is when when you get connected but that doesn't really uh impact everyone because everybody needs love to continue in our world this world it says to me like let the love within you radiate all over the place and, and you've got so much my dear gemini you've got so much love in you and i feel like you are a magnet of love also. It looks like surrounding you is love and lights. And, and there's so much gifts coming your way, by the way, also. It's really weird. Um, gifts. I also see some of you are finding a place where you, are, you can call home, a spiritual source of uh, sanctuaries opening up for you. And you feel like, wow, what is this? Something's opening up. Maybe you're having more space uh, renovating or something in your home. Or it could be something that you're doing and it's bringing you this uh, great happiness, space, abundance, more comfortable comfort zone. Sanctuary is like what, I'm, what I just said before. Sanctuary shows to me like a lot of comfort. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Someone like saying, oh, wow, I love my space or I love this place or I love what's coming and I love this that's being given to me, this opportunity. There's a lot of gratitude. I also see a white, kind of a, like a, a, not a crow, but it's more like a vulture, like a raven. And it looks to me like really you need to trust in the magic. There's a lot of healing, a lot of loving, a lot of healing coming your way. I also see a lot of truth that you're facing up to or you're talking about in relationships or partnerships, especially connected to, again, number two. And two is connected to Pisces, uh, Aquarius, and it's connected to the Chinese ear of the ox. I, I see a lot of truth. Trusting. In, in the heavens, I feel like you are going to heal. And a lot of changes are taking you to the to a great mystery that awaits you. Fish all over the place. I'm seeing fish, a stream of them. And fish is all about resources, finances. It could be connected to Pisces again. I see number three and number four. I also see the letter um, Q, the letter C. Um, and I'm also seeing uh, the letter A. I'm also seeing the letter K. Okay, so K for kiwi fruit, A for Antarctica, C for cat, Charlie, and Q for quilt. Um, and I'm seeing Pisces, Aries here, very strong. I'm seeing Chinese here of the tiger. And I'm seeing a lot of resourcefulness. And I'm seeing money, prosperity, and a lot of money with the stream of fish. Pisces also there. I said Pisces, didn't I? Large quantity of money coming your way. 
this is like you know and this is water energy very strong on a high level um yeah it's incredible right next to this uh, stream of fish i'm seeing uh something's been heavily weighing on you. you've been thinking about it or it's weighing you down or maybe you're feeling trapped or codependency could be either either of those codependency or feeling trapped i see somebody like their foot is chained like a chain on the foot and it looks to me like some of you could be getting addicted to something maybe you're unhappy in your union or marriage you're not happy something there's emotional baggage that's for sure i feel like there's going to be a lot of changes to take you to the next level transcend your august is going to impact this area of your life i also see a lot of changes are going to bring on the grieving of the loss of someone you're leaving someone behind or that that person is leaving major changes um setbacks are making a situation to go now this doesn't always have to be in partnerships it could be do family the changes are well it does show disappointment so disappointment in love maybe maybe disappointment end of a marriage relationship partnership family member leaving maybe also for some but there's hope for a better future number one there's solutions to problems also but there is the grieving can't deny the grieving of the loss let me just drink a, a, a little bit of water Now, my dear Gemini, let's have a look. Yes, it looks to me like a lot of clarity is happening here. A lot of clarity to give you like um, an understanding of everything. Slowly, your eyes are opening to a lot of situations and you're seeing things very clearly. This uh, clarity is going to give you um, sort of like an analytical period where you'll analyze everything. In the process of you analyzing everything and organizing your thoughts, I see an abrupt judgment, like you will judge something very abruptly, very quickly. And and that is going to be sort of like making you speak with authority, you know. You'll have the strength to talk and say what you feel. There is a situation where it needs high ethics and I feel like you've got that all covered. Your high moral standards are going to be very high, so you're not going to allow for anything that is, um, you know, something that's not right. You, you won't be putting up with that. There is a happy ending, that's for sure, even though before I saw grieving of the loss of someone, but now it shows as a happy ending. This happy ending is going to be connected to a challenge that you were overlooking uh, that was overwhelming coming to an absolute ending. Chinese ear of the dog here, very strong. Some of you might be thinking of bringing... Wow, I need more water, my dear viewers, bear with me. Bizarre. I never need two sips, but this time I needed more. Okay, um, I'm looking at four to eight weeks from now. Something about a dog. Maybe your dog needs your attention. Maybe you're bringing on a new dog. The dog represents Chinese of the dog, someone that you know, Chinese of the dog. And also it represents loyalty and friendship, and it represents... Um, it represents intellectuality, friendship. What else does the dog represent? Wittiness. Well, that's Gemini. No, not wittiness. Wittiness is your Gemini. Let me just think. What is it that uh, the dog... Flexibility, maybe. Uh, this dog, this uh, picture of the dog, the face of the dog, it shows to me maybe you need to be a little bit more flexible with your pet. Some of you, it's about children. Pet or children, the dog represents. Or best friend or lover, even. Because... um. Oh my God, talking about lover, there's two lovers right next to the dog. Oh, wow. And there's another dog. Some of you could be mating two dogs. Some of you could be needing to buy another dog on top of what you have. But the two people that are like lovers next to each other, that shows to me that there is a major decision that you need to make within four. Could be four days. Mm, very interesting. Yes, my dear Gemini, you are going to make a major decision. And I'd say it's four to five weeks from now or days. There's a big decision in regard to lovers or in regard to getting two pets together, mating two, <laughs> two pets. It could be possible because there's a big face dog and then there's a small face dog. I mean, it's not, it's not a big face, but it's a round face. And then there's another one, a more smaller dog. So, and, and then you got the lovers there. So two lovers standing there. It could be decisions about loving, 
decision about uh, mating two dogs it could be decision about you know a, bu a beautiful relationship that you need to that you're very attracted to someone and you want to make decisions about it could be dealing with a lover that's born in the chinese ear of the dog um there is a major important decision to make whenever i see two lovers everybody knows the lovers are about meeting someone wonderful or being with someone wonderful but ultimately making important decisions in regard to that some of you want your freedom i feel like july is going to make you question where you're at what you're doing you want to set boundaries um it's like you've been giving your power away to people in your life and now it's like i've got to set boundaries i've got to know what i want i've got to do this and that and and you're questioning your freedom especially those of you that have cancer in you or you're dealing with someone that has cancer uh the star sign or, or, or leo because i see number seven here chinese year of the horse also in, involved with that i'm seeing a major change of events is going to make you feel as though you want to protect your heart. You're, you're setting emotional barriers. I feel like there's, there's, you were maybe in denial. Some of you could have been in denial now, like you're seeing the truth so clearly and you know like this is something coming to an end. I, I feel like there is a situation that's ending. There's a lot of problems in it. Uh, compromise is not working well. Maybe you're not reaching. There is a doorway closing and a new path opening up. While the door closes, I feel like a lot of um, anxiety feelings diminish, disappear. And I also feel like you're, you want peace in your life. You know, while you're alone with your thoughts, there's a lot of things you put together and you finally get to know that you're not having a peaceful uh, situation, relationship, or whatever this battle was. There was a big battle that's coming to an end and you're resting from it. So you're thinking about now, where am I at now? What am I going to do next? Um, and this is going to work. I feel like three to four weeks, things are going to fall into place. You're reinventing yourself. You're transforming. A transformation is taking place in your life without a doubt. So you're enjoying a new lease of life. This life has got a lot of freedom in it. It's, it's got a lot of happiness. There's a lot of free. There's a lot of me time. There's a lot of power. You're given power. This end is taking you, elevating you to high levels. Unexpected large sums of money are coming your way. Some of you are thinking of traveling and, you know, some of you are thinking of changing your home, your residence, even your work. Some of you are thinking changing your work, which is incredible. But I do feel like whatever you're doing, there's a major turnaround, a major positive turnaround in your life. It's like you're achieving something really big. Somebody could be giving you a greatest gift could be a, a windfall, a lottery, play the lottery. I feel like there's something really big. You're manifesting money, that's for sure. Manifestation of money I'm seeing. You're reaching goals and financial help, assistance, or even coming from somewhere. Could be from a person giving you the greatest gift of money or could be the heavens granting you a big win from a lotto or lottery. Have a look at your money reading and that will tell you a lot about July, what's happening or further you can't know more than July. I've only done July. But you can get your lucky numbers and use them and play. Oh, just buy a lottery ticket. Uh, I do feel like you should every month at least. There's, there's something really big happening here. And a lot of support. You're able to support others. Others are supporting you. There's a lot of um, a lot of giving. Prosperity is starting big time. And it's like taking your your life into a new direction your intuition has been telling you something like all the signs have been saying something's happening some great news is coming something's happening and i feel like it's to do with luck i feel like your luck is changing um some of you want to learn a new skill and enhance it and put it out there some of you are thinking you want to do better where you're at you're not happy where you're at you want to be better you want to make changes to your career you want to invest money you want to do something really big and now is the time to do it because I see success. I see creative um, ambition and energy and reaching goals. I'm also seeing you're surrounded with all this strength, power, and success. And you're feeling success. Your intuition is telling you, go for it. It's all going to happen. This is a great time for you to do anything you want. Self-improvement, money, possessions, buying what you want, success, getting your own business, getting your own home, expanding. There's a lot of growth. There's growth and prosperity, and it's it's a big, a big event in your life. It's changing your life. You need to trust your intuition because it's always telling you what the best thing is. And sometimes, you know, 
relying on friends and family, there is a lot of support coming also from, for some of you. It's coming from all over the place, like friends, family. I'm seeing a lot of stability. All the money block issues, you might have had money block issues that's all being removed. Being stuck and not being financially sound, all that changes. You get stability, your finances are booming, things are improving, especially um, end of July into August. A lot of stability. Some of you, again, I'm seeing, could be thinking of traveling. There's a possibility. But I do see justice prevailing for you also. Like, there's a beautiful scale showing that what wasn't right is going to be made right for you. Um, the heavens and everybody is around you, giving you what you truly deserve. The universe, whatever your belief system is, is giving you what is justice and what is truly um, justice for you. And it's incredible. Again, we've got number 11, which is connected to November or the Chinese year of the dog. And also 11 is connected, believe it or not, it's connected to to the scale justice, the, the tarot card justice. It's shocking that 11 is sitting right next to the scale. So justice is going to prevail for you in every way. And it's going to be what is wrong is going to be given to you. There is someone standing there, a new beginning, a new way of life, a new someone entering your life a lot of understanding between you and this person you're finally putting things together and you're seeing clearly and this new beginning is giving you an, an incredible great um victory and abundance both together victory and abundance so this could be a windfall major life changing as you can see here major life change it's like abundance wealth money to the highest level inheritance a gift of money but it's so big that it's making an impact in your life a major impact it's giving you wealth building ideas how you want to put them and investment and do this and do that investing in stock market maybe uh, thinking about real estate there is so much that you are considering because it's becoming possible now because of this money that's coming this long-term big amount of money money for long term so it's a, something permanent it's going to give you something permanent so much to celebrate you're standing there feeling like so powerful, so happy, enjoying your good fortune. That's just incredible. You want to be in nature more. You want to be free more. You want to do more. And I'm seeing four here and again, four and then 11. Four weeks from now, we're in July, four months from now, it's November. So around November, something major happening. You want to travel. You want to be in nature. You want to do things. I just feel like an excellent time now for you to do whatever you want to do. There's a breakthrough of getting exactly what you want. So many decisions are made. And all is going to be like truly a lot of honor. There's a lot of honor here. I don't know how this honor is affecting you on a grand scale. I feel like you are going to be reaching a level of a new beginning where it brings you so much freedom and happiness. Freedom from a lot of worries, money worries, cares, um, deadlines, all that is gone. And uh, free from responsibilities at the same time, like you had too many responsibilities. That's been removed somehow. Again, I see a dog here. Some of you might have a lot of pets. Some of you might have dogs. Some of you might be considering to buy a pet. Again, there could be a best friend here. Follow your bliss because things are going well. I see you following your bliss and like, you know, looking forward to everything that's possible now and there is so much possible it's showing so much is possible it's good time now to start a new project to do something that you love um to tap into your enthusiasm your inner self and see what is it that you want to start some of you could be wanting to start family because the pet and the dog can to do can be to do with fertility and starting a family uh, a wonderful family or starting a you know uh, wanting to be having a baby that could be also but it is a new situation that's going to get bigger and bigger and, and give you a lot of happiness somebody's really tired of being away from you physically maybe they've, they've traveled or they've missed you they're, they're trying to process their fears they want to come back to maybe there was fear i feel like four four days from now four weeks something big is happening you are attracting, attracted to someone that's very much like you. There's so much like you. There's something about them that is you. This is happening within two. Could be connected to the Chinese here. Cat, rabbit, ox, buffalo, and the horse. Something happening that's letting you know that you are going to be really in love with someone. 
And I feel like July is going to be that time where you get to see and feel that you are loved. You're shifting your focus back to love. And I feel like you're getting a lot of loving. There's a lot of loving here, extreme loving. Somebody wants to wants you to know, maybe you want somebody to know that you'll do anything for them. It's like it's one of those um, cliches that's going to be used. They want to do anything for you with arms open, like I'll do anything for you. There's so you know somebody is prioritizing. There's a beautiful butterfly here. Transformations that are making this person to prioritize happiness. It's like you're my happiness. I'll do anything for you, and my priority is happiness. So there is that going on, whether it's you or the person. You're reaching out, a new beginning with someone. It's like a new, as though a new fresh start beginning is happening with someone. Water energy here, very strong. And I've got Cancer, one, two, three Cancer. And I've got three Pisces and one Scorpio. Very, very strong water energy. I also see fire energy, and the fire energy here is Sagittarius. A lot of Sagittarius. And I see there's Aries. There's four Sagittarius, three Aries, and... Wow, and one lion only, one Leo, how incredible. So fire energy are those. So you could be dealing with these people or you could be meeting someone that uh, has a lot of Sagittarius or Leo or Aries in them. But Leo wasn't there as much as you know I thought, but there's more um, Sagittarius. Air energy, if you're dealing with air energy, we've got Libra here, very strong. And, um, and what's the other one, this one? I think it looks like Aquarius. Yeah, but they're not as strong. There's only two of them. The strongest thing, the strongest sign I saw here was the water energy, which was Cancer and Pisces. And I'm seeing Earth, uh, Sagittarius. There's four, uh, four uh, what's it called? <laughs> the Archer. Uh, and then now I'm seeing Earth and Virgo being very strong. Virgo. Yeah, Virgo with a little bit of Gemini and Taurus also. So Earth energy there too. But the strongest was water. Pisces and Cancer, then Fire, which was Sagittarius, then Aries. No Leo. Leo is part of the deal, but there was no Leo. Maybe a minority of uh, Gemini are dealing with Leo. The majority are dealing with Sagittarius. Now, let's have a look at the Chinese. I'm seeing uh, uh, Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the horse. No, sorry, not the horse. It's a dog. Again, Chinese ear of the dog, big time. So I've got one, two, three, four rats. Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the ho uh, the dog, very strong. Then I've got the dragon. There's three dragons. Chinese ear of the ox, buffalo. Chinese ear of the tiger, very strong. And then I've got the Chinese ear of the cat, rabbit. And then I've got, um, what is this one I'm trying to see? The cat, rabbit. And then it's the horse, actually. I wasn't sure about that. Yes, it is the horse. Chinese ear of the horse. And then we've got the rooster. Now, the horse goes with the rooster. And, um, yeah. And the dog goes exceptionally well with the, um, not the horse, but what was the other one that I said? With well, the ox, I said. Ox, buffalo, the cat. And then there was also the rooster and the pig. Okay. So now, let me just take my glasses off and start this. I did see also the pig here, as I'm seeing this Chinese ear of the pig. And the pig goes perfectly with the tiger also. Now, my dear Gemini, we've got signs. Now, signs are going to be all over the place showing you everything. On top of your intuition, you've got all the signs to show you where you're at and what's coming in. You are going to be very much inspired. There's inspiration coming into your life. You're going to be thinking. That's why I said you're going to be motivated to do so much. The honeybee. The honeybee is all about sweet results are going to be at the end, just like I had a beautiful, happy ending. Something is ending happily. There's prosperity, and I saw prosperity. There's a lot of prosperity coming your way. Now, I also was given orchids, which is to do with beauty, a lot of beauty. The strangest thing is I did see Aquarius, and I was given twice Aquarius. So you might be dealing with someone that might have Aquarius in them, or you could be dealing or meeting someone or in, in partnership with someone that has uh, Aquarius in them very strong. Chinese ear of the dragon, or somebody that's born in the Chinese ear of the dragon, the dragon is there. Somebody's actually letting you know that you are my home. You are, it's like I found the one, the one. I also feel some of you are going to find the right home and buying or, or moving into a house or into a place where you say, this is my home. 
Oh my God, I have to see sanctuary here. Home, a place where you'll feel peace. You'll feel it's your own. You'll feel like, oh my God, this is the place I want to spend the rest of my life. And it can be someone actually letting you know, like, like what I had before in the, uh, in the reading where somebody was actually saying that I want you are my home. There was a key also and a lock. So I do feel like some of you are getting your home. Some of you are um, finding the one and knowing that this is the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with. There is loyalty and trustworthy. And that's what the dogs kept representing in your reading. And that's what dog is all about. Loyalty and trustworthiness. And that's what I got. Loyal and trustworthy. I was given that by the heavens, by your guardian angels. Um, I need your love. Somebody really needs, need your love. They, they need it. That's why somebody was saying, I'll do anything for you. So that's what those arms and love was all about. Now I get it. I need your love. Something about muscles. Maybe somebody's having issues with muscles. I think maybe they should, whoever's having issues with muscles, they should look into magnesium and just study about how to stretch your muscles or if there is magnesium, lack of magnesium. Okay. Um, of course, this is not a health advice. This is just um, like my opinion. That's all. You can take it. You can study about it and make your own decisions and see your doctors. Now, um, August. August is going to be really major. It looks like there could be a small conflict. That conflict might, a lot of truth might come up in, in the conflict. Ultimately, August is going to elevate you to a higher level. Let's see now. It says that all, I'm going to go through all the letters and initials of people. I was given twice the, the letter E for elephant or Eva, evergreen. I was given twice the letter P for Paul, uh, P for pony. I was given the letter N for Norway or no. I was given the letter H for honey or horse, B for butterfly or B, A for apple or Antarctica, O for Olympics or olives, U for umbrella, Y for yes, and V for victory. I was also given number 10. Number 10 shows an ending to something. Something is coming to an absolute end. A chapter could be ending in your life and a new one begins. Plenty is coming. October also is nominated to the, uh, by 10 and those who have got Libra or Scorpio in them. Timing, from the time you see this cup up to 10 weeks and for some up to October, major, something major ends in your life and a new beginning. Plenty is coming which is going to give you a lot of happiness. And that's the end of your reading, my dear Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Can't wait to hear from you. I look forward to um, doing your next reading. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free. And please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end. And if you'd like to tip me, if you do like to tip me, it's very easy. All you do is click on one or two ads and just let them run. You don't even have to watch them. I wish you a lot of love and light and a lot of blessings. Namaste.